In the ancient land of Egypt, where the Nile's fertile waters nourished civilization and pharaohs ruled as living gods, a momentous conflict unfolded on the sands of history, the Battle of Megiddo. It was the 15th century BCE, a time of great turmoil and shifting alliances in the Near East. Pharaoh Tutmos III, a warrior king of Egypt, sought to expand his empire beyond the borders of the Nile, asserting Egyptian dominance over the lands of Canaan. As the Egyptian army marched forth, their chariots gleaming in the desert sun, they faced a formidable coalition of Canaanite city-states, united under the banner of the King of Kadesh. The stage was set for a clash of titans, a battle that would echo through the annals of time. The battle commenced with a thunderous roar, as chariots charged and infantry clashed in a symphony of steel and blood. The Canaanite warriors fought valiantly, their hearts aflame with the desire to defend their homeland from foreign invaders. But the might of Egypt was unmatched, its armies disciplined and relentless in their advance. Pharaoh Thutmose, I, I, I leading from the front, inspired his soldiers with his courage and cunning, rallying them to victory with every swing of his sword. As the sun dipped low on the horizon, painting the sky with hues of crimson and gold, the fate of Megiddo hung in the balance. But it was clear that the scales tipped in favor of Egypt, as the Canaanite forces faltered and broke before the unstoppable tide of pharaonic might. The Battle of Megiddo ended in triumph for Egypt, its banners unfurled atop the walls of the ancient city, proclaiming the glory of the victorious pharaoh. The spoils of war flowed into the coffers of Egypt, enriching its lands and solidifying its dominion over the realm of the Near East. But amidst the spoils and accolades, Pharaoh Thutmose, I, I, I knew that the true victory lay not in conquest alone, but in the enduring legacy of a nation forged in the crucible of battle, a legacy that would echo through the ages, inspiring awe and wonder in the hearts of men for millennia to come. It was the year 1896, a time when the forces of colonialism sought to carve up Africa like a vast banquet, with European powers vying for control over its riches and resources. Ethiopia, under the leadership of Emperor Menelik II, stood as one of the few remaining bastions of independence on the continent, a beacon of resistance against foreign aggression. 